Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. And this time I actually wanted to talk about something. Um, is actually pertaining to my last class. Well, actually I had two classes this last semester. But more specifically, um, I wanted to talk about in this video about the animation class I had. Um, tradition Before I had taken like animation principles, which was more or less uh, a stop action uh, form of animation, which believe it or not was in some ways a lot easier because you didn't have to worry about things about volumes and consistencies. But this time I was actually taking traditional animation. Whenever we think of animation, we always think about the traditional 2D animation, uh, like the old Fred, Fred, uh, Fred Flintstone cartoons, the old um, Jetsons, um, as time evolves, stunt dogs, um, Saturday morning cartoons, Looney Tunes. Um, for a long time, this, it, it, this is what you call two, 2D animation or two-dimensional animation. Or, um, also, you could say hand-drawn animation. But whatever you call it, it's been the animation process that has dominated the industry for years up until 3D or CGI animation. Um, but what I'm really thankful for is that this time I actually got a chance to, to actually, um, actually put into practice and learn a little bit about traditional animation and then the principles behind them. Not so much the 13 principles, you know, like squash and stretch and things like that nature. Um, we did do those kinds of principles, but it was more about the different, um, different major, um, major animations you'd be, uh, I would be working on as I continued the class. More specifically, things like, like, um, doing animation straight through, which means I start with an image at the beginning and I do an image at the end and a, um, or pose to pose, which means I start from the beginning and I make a pose at the end and then I draw the middle sections that connect the two. Um, each one had its very, had its own different challenges and definitely, uh, it definitely got me to look at animation in a different light. And, and even, even so far as got me to think that even I could possibly do two dimensional animation. Um, even with my, even with my lack of ability to draw in a lot of ways. Um, this was a very fun class. Um, following the, at the end of this video, I would like to, uh, introduce all the different animate short animation assignments that I had done throughout the semester. So as you look through it, please keep in mind that these are not, these are not, um, story animations. It was only probably like the very end the very last animation that I did that, um, but I actually was working on something and creating a quote unquote story or, or, um, an idea behind it because, because it was a mixed media. And so this was the opportunity. Um, this was my opportunity to actually do an animation that was based. I don't want to say on my own design, but more or less it was an animation that was based on the fact that, uh, I, I could choose how I was going to do this animation. There was no, there was no uh, set criteria on the fact that I had to use two principles that I had learned during the class. So, so, um, there's, I could go on and on about traditional animation and, and, and the many challenges and amazing things I've learned during it. But as of right now, I would like you to just sit back, uh, and, and get a chance to watch the, the animation assignments I had gone through throughout the semester. So this is Jason Hayes. Please enjoy. And, uh, thank you for watching.
Everybody was kung fu 